Yo guys, what's good? Okay, so it's been quite the amount of time since I put out a video. And today is Sunday, February 28th. And uh, finally, I think I'm like 12 videos ahead right now. So I want to make a video letting you guys know what to look forward to. Really, just a bunch of stuff. Um, I think the first couple videos aren't going to be all that exciting, but I've recorded pretty much everything. Um, just want to put it all out there, help anybody out, you know, whatever. There's some bags under my eyes, huh? Anyway, uh, things to look out for in a video. And some of the videos, I have a really bad lisp. I got braces. I have, like, the clear ones. So I have them out right now. But my lisp is pretty bad in some of the videos. Please don't make fun of me. <laughs> trying to get rid of this gap. Um, dogs are getting huge. I know a lot of you guys want to see the dogs in the videos. I didn't show them much until, like, the more recent ones. But Apex. Apex, look at you, big boy, big boy, yeah, he is huge now, sit, check, that's a good boy, that's my good boy, getting so big, and Jay-Z, he hasn't, he hasn't changed much, have you, have you, bud, yeah, yeah, all right, well, like I said, I just want to give you guys an update, kind of like a sneak peek of what to look forward to here, uh, you guys already know the trans is here. I painted it and cleaned it up pretty nice. Took a nice wire wheel to everything. Still need to get fluid for it and the motor, brake in oil, all that stuff. But um, there she is. I just got the covers on last night. I haven't even finished up that video yet. But uh, she's looking really, really good. Like, super good. Um, not too much stuff to put on. Once I get the crank pulley on I'm waiting on the ARP bolt from USP but uh, I can get the crank on I can get the uh, or the crank pulley on get the dipstick in get the mounting bracket here so I do the intake manifold port injectors all that obviously all the wiring and stuff up here high pressure fuel pump vacuum pump um, that's pretty much it wiring harness coolant hoses alternator I need to take it's still in the box over there it needs cleaned up real bad it's real nasty but AC delete brackets on, everything's on, clean, oil filter in. Um, I got a buddy up in Canada, shout out to him, he's going to make, like I deleted the, uh, there's like a bracket, or not a bracket, but a heat shield that went here to like, you know, be a heat shield, and I got this one still, but I think he's going to make me one that's going to take up all of this, something real cool to look, um, look at. So it's not really going to be super functional, but we'll see how that turns out. I told him just to, I kind of gave him a couple ideas. I think he's going to come up with a few CAD designs or something to laser cut. But there she is. She's looking good. Not too much going on with the car itself. I put the fender liners back in, the backs. I need to order new ones for the front still. But I got the bay cleaned up. Got the downpipe coated. Everything in here cleaned, ready to go. Deleted the washer, reservoir, uh... You guys know the AC's out, a couple other things. Nothing really much going on inside the car. There's nothing really in there. <laughs> um, so there's that. Oh, what else we got? Uh, yeah, intake manifold sitting over there. It needs to be cleaned up and put on. It can be installed now. It just it needs cleaned. Oh, we still got a, got a 535 Walbro or whatever tie on them. I don't know. It's from Precision Raceworks, the 535 pump. To put in still seat belts are in there um i don't have like the actual clickers for the seat belts yet i had to go back to the guy i got them from and have him send me new ones so he's sending me those out but here we got the kirkies both of these bad boys i might take off like the actual kirky thing or just do it right under them but i want to get my name embroidered under one of them at least these are like super duper light i wish i still had the other seats to weigh against them but I mean I can literally like they weigh nothing so I got the brackets the main brackets for the seats to the next bracket I don't have the next bracket yet so got a few things on back order got a new steering wheel here as well um, to go in so you guys got plenty of content coming just if you see the title and you don't seem like ah, I don't really want to watch that blah 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 just open the video hit that thumbs up button for me it's really gonna help the channel out 
I hope to hit 5,000 subs by the end of this month. That would be legit. We're at like 43, 46 right now or something like that. So 5,000 by the end of March would be dope. Um, yeah, it should only be like another week or two. The car should be running. We should be scheduling some dyno time. Um, we're going to be full E85. It's an 83 millimeter built block. Um, yeah, ported head, all that jazz. Hopefully on 32 pounds we make somewhere near 6, but over 550. Hoping around 500 foot-pounds of torque. Eventually when we change up intake manifolds and stuff, we'll start playing around with some nitrous. But before we even get to that far, I need to get a new intake. Um, something a little bit beefier, something that can flow a little bit better. Um, maybe a better intercooler. I delete the AC so that condenser's not in front of the AC anymore. Like messing up airflow to the intercooler. But I need to make a sh custom shroud for that. And if that doesn't help, then I'm switching up inter intercoolers, and then I need to get um, the throttle pipe, the pipe from the intercooler to the throttle body. I haven't changed that out. That's pretty much like the only OEM thing that's really left, like performance parts-wise, you know. Um, yeah, but she's coming together. You got all types of things I want to do. Oh, oh, and the carbon hatch is here too. And I, I don't even know when we're going to get to that. I need to. There's just. So many things between corner balancing, alignments, tuning. Um, there's a big event in April in Austin, the MQB shootout. You guys can look that up on Facebook. You'll find the, the group. Um, hoping that's going to be like the real first debut of the car. We'll be out there in Houston. So if you guys are anywhere near there, it's literally like the very first weekend. I think it's like the second or third of April. So if you guys can make it out, come out. It should be like the real debut of the car. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll let you guys know. In future videos but uh yeah that's all i got for now this seven minute video the other video the first actual drop will drop later today so if you're seeing this in the morning the next video is going to be out in a couple hours so just stay tuned hit that thumbs up and uh yeah this car is going to be dope i'm super excited it's been like six months since I'd, i've driven just oh i'm waiting on the shop app shifter to show up too there's little odds and ends but She'll be back together real, real soon. Okay. Anyway, thumbs up. Another video today. Another video Thursday. Monday, Thursday. We're going to go with Monday, Thursday schedule. So, yeah. can't wait to see what you guys got to say. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip flop.